Okay, hey guys, I'm Fred Santana. I'm Temi Alchemy. And I'm VP in the cut. Cool, cool, cool. And we're joined by Robert Cochran from Scottish Widows. Welcome. Thank you very much, guys. I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, for yeah. Coming. And you, you've been in the game for 25 years, the pension game or the retirement oh, specialist. Um, may, maybe longer than that, maybe yeah. Longer. Really? Yeah, yeah. So when you, this is a 90s show. I'd started um, in the 90s, uh, worked for, not for Scottish Widows, but in pensions, yeah. Right. Wow. That's a long time to be talking about like the end of life. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's talking about your future. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. But it's still like the tail end. It's like looking after your future. So at the end, you're okay. But it's like, it's an interesting wow. concept, you know? It depends how long you think you're going to live, right? Right. If you think you're going to live to 100, and that's kind of how I'm basing mine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can start taking your benefits from 55. So. Yeah. It's almost half your life. Yeah. If you do it, if you do it. It's true. That's a good like, point, you know. True, true, I true. I don't know. True. But it's me personally. Go on. 100 is a long time. Oh, you, oh yeah. You, you said you tried to be out by what, 87 or something? <laughs> I think <it> <laughs> around there. Around that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, okay, cool. We could just dive straight into what was the app or the QR code you made me scan? I uh, made you scan one called the Pension Mirror. So The Pension Mirror. Yeah, so basically, www.pensionmirror.co.uk. Right. We'll put the QR code on on the screen. Okay, so right. scan the QR code. Mm. It's gonna it's gonna ask you to like take almost like a selfie, mm -hmm. um, and it's gonna guess your age. Uh, don't be offended. <laughs> he added three years to me. Yeah, like, I was thinking, I, I want to do it as well. See what it would be. <laughs> added it added three years to me. I said, oh, I'm tired. But then cool. So then it said um, the average current pension I should pension fund that someone of your age would have so it uses mm. the ONS the Office of National Statistics stats mm. and then it says for somebody of your age this is on average how much they have in a pension fund cool and I think it was right. about 16,000 yeah if I was remember mm, sweet, yeah. Um, no, no no at the age of 34 yeah and then reduced it to my actual age and it said 11,000 something mm. something um, and then I increased it to, I think, about 67 because that's, I think, the age that they're saying people should retire, right? I think so. Uh, I bet that's, that's, about, that's about when your state pension kicks in. It's not when you should retire, but your right. state pension kicks in. Yeah. So you oh, can okay. still be working and then your state pension can start getting paid to you. You can, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it'll, it'll be 67 for me. It won't be 67 for you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be it's old going old. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They want us working to 85. That's crazy. <laughs> That's why the French are, you know, doing what the French do. So, is it optional that pension, that state pension being paid to you from 67? Can you say, no, nah, hold on a minute? You can, you can do that. So, okay. yeah, maybe we should start off with state pension because that is what most people will it'll form the biggest part of most people's income in retirement. Mm -hmm. um, anyone know how you get state pension? Nope. No. Um, I thought it was just automatic. Yeah. Now that there's like auto and row, I thought it was like So it's nothing to do with that, right? Really? <laughs> so that that's that's one of those interesting things, right? Yeah. You've got state pension and you've got private pension. Private pension is like your self invested one, your workplace one, your state one. Right. You don't pay into it. It's entirely through national insurance credits. Okay. okay. So you can be um a stay at home mom. Yeah. And you're still qualifying for you know, state pension. Right. Be a carer, you're still qualifying for state pension as long as you're accruing national insurance credits. Right. Okay. How, how do you uh, accrue? Accrue. Accrue national insurance credits if you're a stay-at-home mum? Because you get child benefit. Right. And Ooh. if you qualify for child benefit, then that's also qualifying you for national insurance credits. Okay. And on the, the app, that shows the average with state and... Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's entirely... State pension state, is entirely yeah. separate. So that, that app is just showing you what you should have a private. private. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay yeah. cool, cool. Right. Yeah, 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 you yeah, just yeah. told me what NIC stands for now, because yeah. I didn't know. National I was always like national insurance. Contribution. Yeah. Right, yeah. cool. So you can go on the government website. You can do that anytime. Um, and if you just type in your date of birth, it'll tell you what age you, you're due to get a state pension from. Right. But if you put in your gateway ID, it mm -hmm. will tell you what your national insurance record looks like. Right. It will tell you if there's years missing that you could make up. So I can see all the way back to when I was a student that I didn't have full credits then. Right. You need 35 years of credits to get a full to get this. Right. You Got you. 10 years to get anything. Okay. So, right. So how much is it um, that you get just state pension? How much do you think it is? I'm not a lot. I'm going to say maybe £170 a week. It's not bad. 
204 roughly. Okay. okay. 200 That's 204. good. That's better because you ain't yeah, low. Yeah, you see I ain't low. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. to make you say, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> so, so that forms a big yeah. part of most people's income in retirement. So it's over 10 grand a year and it goes up every year. Mm. So, you know, there's this thing called the triple lock that they always argue about in politics, triple lock, which means it's gone up by inflation or it's gone up by it's good, that's weight. That's good money. That's good money. Is, so, is that mm. taxable? Uh, well, if that's your only money, then it's below tax threshold. But yeah, 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 yeah. That, then it oh, just yeah, makes yeah, sense because yeah, yeah. it's below like, twelve. Yeah. Okay. So I would right. encourage everyone to go and look up their national insurance record because mm, you you've got this ability for another year. So the government said, hey, you can have another year. Martin Lewis did a whole big campaign to say you've got another year to go back and make up any missing years or right. years where you didn't qualify completely. Right. So you guys that have worked in employment and then done some self-employment and maybe yeah. has gaps, yeah. you might have like a year where you only have to pay a couple hundred quid. And right. That will accrue. Wow. Yeah. I need to okay. look at that. Yeah, okay. I need to look at that. Cool. I've definitely got some gaps. <laughs> How do we look at that? <laughs> go, right. go on the government website. So uh, gov.uk. Yeah. Yeah. Go okay. on. Right. You need your gateway ID. So you yeah. Have that code the same one you use for self-assessment, tax returns, and all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's got same it. code. You pop, pop in there and it will tell you. What your gaps are and how to make them up and it's almost always worth your while doing that yeah is um, there is is there a cut-off period so like so there is a cut-off period okay, yes. um so you know normally normally you can only go back six years okay but until next year or 2025 they're allowing you to go all the way back to 2005. oh that's okay. all right that's nice all right. For you guys, your age, and we were still. Yeah, oh, we're fine. We were yeah, just yeah, yeah, I, don't, I only need six. <laughs> <laughs> I only need six <laughs> years. <laughs> so you've got the ability to do that. And it was interesting when we did our Scotch Widows retirement report, yeah. we identified that um, a lot of people in the black community didn't think they were qualifying for state pension or didn't believe right. that that would form a big part of their income in retirement. Okay. There's a knowledge gap. We just don't know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, knowledge mm -hmm. gap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't so you said. Um, you have to, and like, how do we access it then? So once we hit sixty-seven, yeah, do we do they just say, hey, by the way, or do you actually they, have they, to contact they them? They should send you a letter, but if they don't send you a letter, you can just apply for it, and then they pay you that income uh, in arrears. Right. I always have a fear that they won't know where I am. What do you mean? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like, if you're paying tax, like they, sh they should have. Yeah, but I might have moved, like, I might oh, have like gone, abroad. You know, yeah. yeah, I might mm. be in Bali. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are they going to get this letter to me? Well, I'm going to tell you, there's lots of complicated rules if you move abroad. Oh, yeah. I can't get my money. Uh, Probably. You get your money, but like, if you live in Canada, you get it different from if you live in the USA. Right. So they've got like reciprocal agreements with all these countries around the world, and they're not all the same. Mm. Um, so, you know, your safest bet is just to stay. Oh, nah, that's how they got us, man. No, that's how no, they no, got no. us. Save his bet, private pension, save your money, do what you want. You know what I mean? That's no. crazy. I can't go to Bali. Oh, oh, you, you might be able to. Is that where you want to retire? I don't know, but just, <laughs> you know what I mean? You want the option. Like, <laughs> now it's like, if I go, I can't get my money. Yeah, I'm no, not saying that. that. You, you'll be able to get some, but just uh, how you get taxed and what speed it grows at. I'm gonna have to go to Switzerland then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luxembourg. <laughs> Attack table. <laughs> oh, so, so yeah, we we us, we scanned the QR code and then I bumped it up to um, sixty-seven. Sixty-seven, mm. and it said about what two hundred and twenty k average. Mm -hmm. I said that would be done in like five years. Yeah, I wouldn't know the maths on that. Um, Everyone's yeah. spending habits is different. Everyone's but, spending mm -hmm. habits is different, but you no longer have like income. It's all outgoings. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You might you might have income. You do have income. That is your income. That but is it's, your yeah, income. it's like you ain't making any more than that. Well, you've got that like, state pension as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I know that, yeah, yeah like, cool. Yeah. But even even based on the, let's base it on the two twenty on the two twenty. Yeah. That's all you had, and yeah. it gets taxed. It gets taxed. Twenty five percent of it's tax free. The rest is taken as income, right? So cool. Okay, um, cool. So to save you trying to work all this stuff out, an organization called um, the PLSA, Pension Lifetime Savings Association, done all this work to work out how much people would need in retirement. Right. And they categorized them into three groups. So there was mo minimum, moderate, and comfortable. Right. Okay. And one of the assumptions they make, just when I'm telling you this, one of the assumptions they make is that you've already paid off your mortgage. You don't have rent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's rent yeah. outgoings. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah, yeah. the dynamics quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. So... Their argument is for a minimum level of income, 
single person would need 12,800 a year. A, year. Yeah. a couple would need 19,900. And they say that that gives you 54 quid a week on food, mm. no car, and a mm. week's holiday and a long weekend in the UK. You get a holiday. A long weekend. <laughs> so it's, we're going to like Portsmouth. You have to pay for it yourself, mate. Oh, oh man. So then, so then they jump up to moderate. Yeah. And Fred, you're way above moderate anyway, what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, moderate, so. a single person, 23,300, a couple 34,000 a year. Right. And they say you can have 74 quid a week in food. Mm. You can have a three-year-old car and replace that every 10 years. Mm. That's okay. Mm. Yeah. okay. You can have two weeks holiday in Europe and a long weekend in the UK every year. Yeah. I mean, it's not a G-Wagon. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> That's a three-year-old well, three G-Wagon. <laughs> okay. What about comfortable? If you bump up to comfortable, mm. a single person, 37,300 a year. Okay. Right? okay. Um, so 10 grand of that. Let's say he's coming from state pension. That means you need to find another twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, and if you're a couple, it's fifty-four and a half grand. Mm. Right. So this is in Got your territory here. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um. So what that's saying is one hundred and forty-four quid a week in food, a uh-huh. two-year-old car replaced every five years, and three weeks holiday in Bali. Every hey. Hey. <laughs> However, <laughs> that's that's and that's calculating the average life, which is what you die at eighty-seven wow. or ninety. But for you, it'll be longer than that. So the, right. the people that so, are dying now... So yeah, that's, yeah. Right. <laughs> so that's why I was saying five years to blow through 220 at old age with no mortgage. No well, you, there's lots of different things. You, you can buy an annuity retirement, which guarantees you an income for life, right? Right, okay. So, you don't, uh, so that's that's one of the options. When you cut, with, with that pot of money, you can do different things with it. You can take it out as chunks of cash. Yeah. You can mix and match. So you can take some as a guaranteed income. Okay. Um. So you're you're effectively taking that pot of money. Let's say you're giving someone a, an insurance company a hundred grand, and they'll give you back seven grand a year. Let's say. Yeah. Oh, year. Think, yeah. Uh, so yeah. you you're taking that off the equation. Doesn't matter how long you live. Yeah. That, that bit's coming in. Your state pension's coming in, uh-huh. and you've got a bit more flexibility. You can choose to invest that money somewhere else, and you know, watch it fluctuate and going up and down. So. Okay. Interesting. So what did you plan that five years? With that holiday, like holiday, holiday. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's like, it's gone. Sorry, Rob, if you move the mic a bit closer to me, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't think about car. Yeah, yeah, food. I, I thought about food, but a hundred, hundred, a hundred and seven pounds was the com. Uh, hundred and forty seven. Uh, hundred forty four was com. Oh, hundred and forty four a week, a week. Yeah. on food. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah, that is good. But, but again, remember, like well, the way inflation has gone, by the time we're sixty seven, yeah, that's going to be yeah. it could be horrible. Yeah, but that, that, this is in today's price. Today, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, as yeah, things yeah. go, as yeah. each year goes up, they'll change those figures. So all this stuff's in the Scottish Widows Retirement yeah. Report. You can see a breakdown of it all and, Got you. and how these things come together. But it's helped people just to give them an idea. Yeah, it's like mm. when you saw that number, you're like. I'm gonna. I need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a ration this. Well, yeah. okay, cool. That was just yeah. private. So then state will will come as well. But yeah, yeah. I think. I think it's a bit rough though. It, it, it looks rough. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like two hundred and twenty k for thirty years. Yeah, but the th- the, the, th- the thing is with the state Full. pension, you don't have a fund, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no fund. So the money that you're paying just now. It's paying old people just now their state pension. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And then at some there's point we live off the young people that are paying. So yeah. the taxes and stuff. And then. As there's less young people coming through and more old people, it's mm. going to become more difficult to meet. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. So it becomes even more important that you have your own fund. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or we have more kids. Get them to work. It depends on what ends of the funnel you want to work. Yeah. Like, yeah. They'll work harder and just have more kids. Yeah. Just, yeah. And to be fair, that's one of the things that's culturally different as well. So some uh, some ethnic groups you know, yeah. still live in big family groups all in one mm-hmm. place. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Asian, yeah. Indian, yeah. much more likely to live like that, have more children, mm-hmm. live in a slightly different way. And they're actually the people that are best off in retirement. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would rather that. I would actually rather that. Like when I think of lockdown, I'm like, there was so much of us in the house, but it was like, there was always help. Yeah. There was no issues with, oh, do you need someone to like, there was always someone present. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I, I realized how much money they can save yeah. doing that. Of course, the expenses are up, but also there's more income. And then that's why they can get bigger houses as well, yeah. because there's more people in the mortgage, more income. Like, yeah. I'm thinking like all of this, oh, everyone just run away and leave your mum's house, leave your dad's house. It's like, is that even helping in the long term? Mm-hmm. 
Of course, privacy is one thing. Like, yeah. you know, and, uh, yeah, independence. Yeah. And, you know, I can't imagine just living with my whole family and my, my the grandma, grandma. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. But if you can get rid of that side of things, or maybe you've got a little outhouse and you can go <laughs> holiday, long weekend there, yeah. <laughs> once a well, week it, or something. It's different cultural groups. So it's different yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty yeah. uncommon. Amongst white British, to be honest, they're much less likely to do that. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. Most other groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of them stay at home and have like, like six, have three generations in one house, for example. Okay. You know, yeah. It's much less likely. In um, white families. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, I think British. black families must be like two generations. I know uh, some people live with their grandmas, like. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, everyone's different, but there are, yeah. you know, it's much more likely to happen in Indian or. or so. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. What's your retirement plan? So. You know, life hits you, doesn't it? Uh, so I, yeah. I had um, I had paid off my house and, was, and all of that stuff. And just last week, just this weekend, I moved house because I've just gone through a separation. So all right. your life changes, right? So I've mm-hmm. been married 25 years, life changes. So I have a pension. Um, because I'm older, mm-hmm. I've got defined benefit pensions, which is the kind that they used to have. Um, right. Where you don't necessarily have a pot where you, but you get an income in retirement. Right. And then, um, so that that's you know that that will look after me, um, mm. and I'm I'm in one of those groups, probably the comfortable one. Right. I mean, I've been working for a long time doing this kind of stuff, building up that kind of pension pot. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's probably where I would say. <clears throat> Interesting thing is those became really expensive pension types, and mm-hmm. companies stopped doing them. Right. And they didn't put anything in place at all. Mm-hmm. So then people didn't have any pension. So. You're, you're the 90s baby show um, mm-hmm. this year. So I'm wearing a T-shirt that says, pay your pension some attention. Mm-hmm. Just gone through a campaign for pay your pension some attention. And they were focusing mm. on people that were working in the 90s mm-hmm. because they didn't have any pension. So oh, right. you were talking last week about auto-enrollment. Yeah. Oh, right, right. right. So all, so that came in in 2012. So we're by, yeah, a lot of people yeah. that were working. So people, people, people that were, were everywhere. 30 to 55, older they a lot of them didn't have any pension at all. Yeah. Um, whereas now, it'll actually be all right for you guys if you're in work, so different if you're self-employed, but if you're in work, yeah. um, you'll come in, as soon as you start working, mm-hmm. you'll be in a pension scheme. Yeah. You'll build up a pot. The, the level it's at isn't big enough, mm-hmm. but the plans are to grow that. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's currently 8%, mm-hmm. but the plans are to get that up to closer to 12%. And that mm-hmm. means that more and more people will have their own pension pots and they'll be big enough to look after them. Yeah. And there, there is a kind of Probably not your um, your audience, but the mm. thirty to fifty five year olds that I was in, I just got in mm. uh, to get one of those types of pensions, and then yeah. the year after me it closed. So wow, it, dep- it depends where you work as well, right? So some, yeah, some org- some employers have got really generous pension schemes, and some have yeah less, particularly in things like media and and you know um, retail and stuff like that didn't have much of the way of pensions mm. catering. Not watching away pensions. No. Ah. You mentioned something before about yeah. like um, you could pay like an insurance company money with your pension, and yeah. that's like them they'll pay you out. Yeah. What is that like? How it, does that work? It, it's called an annuity. So they do a whole lot of calculations, um, and then they say that this is how much money we can give you for the rest of your life, um, based no on what, no matter what happens. What? Mm. Yeah. Now, they've been really poor value because interest rates were tiny right mm-hmm. you know because we've, we've just gone through a period where your mortgage rates were really small mm-hmm. um, which is great for your mortgage but terrible for your annuity right because it's swings and roundabouts so right. if an, if interest rates are high then they can take that hundred thousand pounds and almost like put it in a, in a bank account right and it's yeah. going to get six percent yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah back six around the year got you, got but you. when it was a when interest rates were 001 percent or 0.25%, they put that 100 grand in, they're get, giving you £2.50. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're not going, oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. fallen well below the uh, minimum. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, an so interesting that's watch, right? So, Because I always find that stuff, like, because obviously it's like a risk for the insurance company as sure, well. Because sure. it's like, if they guarantee you're going to earn this amount for the rest of your life and you live to 120. Yeah. They're kind of out of pocket. Sure. Oh, but the so, thing so, is, they win most of the time. One twenty. Oh, oh <laughs> it's a, hey, me. pull so, the plug on me. It's yeah, pull, pull out as a risk, right? So mm. if you, if all three of you buy an annuity, they're assuming that you know one of you is probably going to die early. 
<laughs> I, I, I want to use a two le level long time. I want to use me going to be about average. So, yeah, you know, you right. pull that or, or amongst like hundreds of thousands of people, it will always play out a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that, that's kind of how that works. Okay. Cool. All right. So what we want to do in this episode is bust some myths around inheritance tax, capital gains, and if you die early. Mm. Um, but before that, actually, I hear your son. Checks out the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shits and giggles and all that. Yeah, them on it. He's like, yeah. fan of that. Yeah, he's 14 years old. Oh, yeah. he was oh like, wow. I said I was coming. He was like, oh, serious. What? You should have brought him there. And 14 yeah, yeah. year olds listen to us. Yeah, yeah. Man, That's you need to, crazy. You need to put some parental locks on that. <laughs> he's probably going to listen to you now more than you're on the show. Like, yeah. like, you in. Um, okay, so let's start with inheritance tax. Yeah. Does that apply to both state and private? Well, remember with state, you don't have a fund. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So there is no inheritance. There's nothing there to inherit. You're yeah. just getting paid an income from the yeah. government. With your private pension, if you die before 75, then the whole lot can be entirely uh, free, handed over. Okay. So on that 220,000, mm. if you die before 75, you could pass that on as 220,000 pounds with no that's crazy. No but then after 75. After 75, there may be tax, or may not yeah. be tax. Okay, so that's a nice myth. Pit, pit. Private pensions are one of the most tax efficient things you can do. Yeah. Right? So you put money in, mm. um, if you used to put in a hundred quid, it only costs you 80 quid mm. because you're getting tax relief on the money. Mm. If you're a higher rate taxpayer, to put in a hundred quid only costs you 60 quid. Right. You're getting tax relief on it, right? Mm -hmm. So you put in 60 quid, you get, you go, get up to a hundred quid. Right. The money that's in there grows in a tax free wrapper. Right. So it's completely tax free in terms of the growth. Yeah. And then if you die, it can be paid out without any tax. Quite. But when you get to the point where you're going to take it, is where things become a little bit different. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's 20, twenty-five help. percent of it is tax-free, right? So you can take it out in chunks. Um, yep. So let's say it was two hundred quid, two hundred grand that you had, you could have taken fifty grand out tax-free and left the rest of the money behind. Mm. So that's paying you for your one big mega holiday. In yeah, for the whole year. <laughs> Got yeah. And then you you left the rest of that money behind. Oh. So it, it it's super tax efficient. Right. And if oh, what was the question? If um, skipped. I uh, forgot. You guys got anything? So um, I remember. Yeah. In regards to so obviously you'd have to have the two twenty there if you were to die early. It would have to be there because you don't know what you're actually gonna have there. But that can just go without any tax as long as it's before seventy five. Yep. Cool. So how do you? Well, I was gonna ask something again when you remember. How are you feeling right now? How am I feeling right now? Yeah. Like, is this a scary point? Not to say you're <clears throat> like about to retire, because I'm not no, too sure. No, I'm not. But <laughs> as you've <laughs> been <laughs> getting older, <laughs> as you've been getting older anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I've got mortgage now. <laughs> right, right. So then okay, cool. Mortgage is paid off. And then you're realizing, okay, at some point I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be earning, let's say, um either as much or maybe I don't know. Uh, let's just say not as much as what you would have, but you're gonna have your pension. Um, like what's your plans? First five years, let's say. I'm, you've heard that phrase, busman's holiday. Like, I, I haven't really worked it all out oh, uh, right. exactly exactly what I'm going to do. So, I know, I know that you, we should do that, but, um, I, you know, I've had to just reevaluate things. So, I will, um, I, I plan to work till I'm certainly in mid late 60s, probably, and uh, mm -hmm. pay off a mortgage. I, mean, I enjoy my job, right? Mm. It's, it's good fun. Right. I like what I do. I'm interested in it. So, couldn't really take just sitting at home doing nothing or yeah that's the that scary is. thing like of sitting down and not doing anything i don't think i could be that person that just kind of sits yeah. down i'd have to find something to keep me busy because for the last since you know being 18 19 yeah you've been working yeah so it's like imagine there's no school if there wasn't work there was school if there wasn't school there was like you, like you was always yeah. doing something yeah. Yeah. so imagine it's like but grandkids guys yeah, but they're also at school as well. Yeah, school, yeah, school yeah. Run, have yeah. a nap, school run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm tired to do school run, grandkids every day. No yeah. way, no. impossible. My my cab, uh -uh. my cab driver yesterday, um, he was like, um, he said I retired nine years ago. I was like, you retired nine years ago. You're Dude, still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He but, said, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do. Yeah, you need something to do. Let me get on the road, talk to some people. Yeah. There's yeah. not enough World Cup matches. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, World Cup is a great time to be alive. But yeah. my question came back to me. Yeah. So with yeah. with inheritance tax or just that conversation, if you don't, do you, have, do you need to put it in a trust? And do you have to nominate someone? If you don't nominate yeah. someone, do they just 
So, so it's, it's already under trust. And mm -hmm. if you don't nominate something, then it goes into your state and then it takes a long time to sort out right. and get your money. Um, right. <clears throat> Nomination of your beneficiaries is super easy to do. Right. So it, it, if you're a Scotch Widows, you can do it in the Scotch Widows um, app, mm -hmm. right, in their workplace pensions app. I can see how long it takes people to do it. It mm -hmm. takes between one and two minutes to do it. And Just, some, yeah, some right. did it in 33 seconds. So, uh, yeah, right. You can literally go in, you just open up the app, right? Who do I want to get my money when I die? Yeah. Um, and it can be charity, it can be some to charity, some to your family, wh whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. So, everyone should absolutely fill in a nomination of beneficiaries. So one, it's a no cost transaction that every single person should do. Right. Just go in and say, who gets my money when I die? That's um, it. Yeah. Yeah. And as your life changes, you can update it really straightforward. Got you. Uh, who are you guys going to put? Um, I'll put um, I'll put hundred percent to Natty's Baby Show charity. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> yeah, and we give it to my family. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife will come and kill us. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it has to go to the wife. Right yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Immediate family. Yeah, that's all right. Immediate. Yeah. So, what um, what plans have you like set up for like your son? Because he's like fourteen. He's almost at the age of. I'm going to go into employment. Have you started telling him, okay, as soon as you start working, make sure your oh, picture's sorted? And, um, um, so I've already got, I've got two older kids as well. So okay. I've, got, right. I've got my daughter is 22 and um, the age at which you get auto-enrolled is 22 now, right? Okay. Uh, so it's, it's going to move to 18 yeah. uh, fairly right. soon. So she was she was actually, she emailed me the other day then saying, my work's not put me in my pension scheme yet. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> so dad, uh, dad, come yeah. in and talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love yeah, it. She's, yeah. Yeah. You were proud of that one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she just talked in 20 days, said they've got three months. Yeah, <laughs> uh, she's the one writing a letter to HR. Yeah. Like, if this isn't yeah. sorted, my dad will see you. So, so, she, so, so, She's gone in at 22, um, yeah. and as I say, the, well, my, my other son's a labourer just now, uh, so okay. he's, he's 19. I was like, you should join the pension scheme. He's like, I'm not joining the pension scheme until after. <laughs> like, Come on. <laughs> so, you know, uh, different folks, different strokes, but it, right. it, it, he'll go in as well. I mean, it, it it's such a good thing, auto enrollment, uh, mm -hmm. because it takes any thought out of it. Yeah, yeah, you start yeah. working there. When it moves to eighteen, it'll mean as soon as you start working, pretty much, you're put straight into a pension scheme. You don't know any different, right? Mm -hmm. You know that's what it is. You're always getting an employer contribution. Mm. And I heard you guys talking about opting out and stuff like that in mm -hmm. the past, right? Mm -hmm. So when you opt out, uh, you lose your employer contribution, but you don't get any more pay from your employer, mm. right? So you're losing the money that they would put in but they're not giving you anything else back for it. Mm. Right. So it's it, it, it's not it, beneficial it's at not all. beneficial, no. So In no. the long run, in the in the media, it's beneficial. Oh, yeah, because yeah, <laughs> you if don't. you're going to be doing something with that money, yeah. do you know what I mean? If you're just like, oh, I just want an extra 200, 300, whatever it hey, is. Sometimes people need that. And I you need it. that. But when the you're employer, looking the employer, employer one. one. Yeah, the employer one, the employer because they usually match whatever you're putting in, right? It just depends. So it's yeah, like yeah. the minimum they can pay is 3%. Three, three percent. Yeah. I mean, lots of schemes are, you know, the employer might be paying as much as 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. more than that. Okay. So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, in our work, it's like well more than 10%. And yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to, or well, t tonight I'm going up to Sunderland. We look after a big car factory up there mm. where you've got unions. You've got really good pension schemes predominantly, you know, yeah. where you've got heavy, heavily unionized, unionized organizations. Yeah. And the unions are really supportive of getting people into a pension and getting, you know, getting the most that they can out of it. Yeah. Um, tech firms, as you guys were talking about tech firms recently, is a little bit different there. They've not, yeah. all, they're a bit less mature. You were talking yeah. stock options and stuff like that. They're maybe not as interested in pensions, maybe thinking they've got younger audience and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So ideally, you all get old some point. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 very true, very true. Um, that, I, like, I, I, sorry, I never, we never asked your stock, you had stocks at your last company. Yeah. What did that mean? Um, so basically that was just like another way to sweeten, like stocks is a smart thing that you do to keep people invested in the company, mm. not money wise, but just you staying. So it's like, you know, these days the churn is quicker. Like people are leaving a job yeah. within a year now, two years, because they're like, that. I'm going to go get 50K, 60K over here. Mm. LinkedIn has changed the game. Like, mm. I'm sure, like, in terms of in the 90s, early 2000s, people were probably staying in their job for 10 years, 12, 15 years. Like, people staying in for way longer. 
now we move quicker. So stock sure. is like over four years. I think my stocks was, let's say it was 60K. Um, over four years, it vests. Um, so basically every year you can withdraw down from it and it might be 25% one year. Then it might be another 25 or it might be like, but you'd have to stay there for four years. You'd have to to right. Okay. So, but each year you can withdraw down. So maybe after the first year, you might be like, fuck that, I'm out of it. Yeah. Mm. But you might be like, ooh, I, I want still the got, rest of that. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. it keeps you invested in mm. staying with the company. So a lot of people might be like, after four years, that's when I'll leave. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that's like another smart way these, a lot of, not, not even just tech companies, but companies that give vested stock, they, that's another way of them kind of keeping you interested. It's, a, it's yeah. almost stay. like a bonus. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And you might still have bonus and you yeah. might have, you still have pension. Yeah. It might not be a great pension. It could be a good one. Pension, pay, plus the mm. bonus, then plus you might have, stocks as well mm -hmm. that you can withdraw and like some people have like cashed out on google stocks and gone and bought a house like it's crazy yeah like it's crazy depending on the company you're working for it's not just tech i'm sure and then with like the <clears throat> with charities i think <clears throat> there are some charities where pay is capped at 60k like people that work in charities can't get paid more than uh sixty thousand pounds a year is that the mm. same in pensions because is the money in like pension companies is that how do, how do you guys make money is it through us that pay into the pension and, and then I some mean, of that's we're, invested. We're like limited companies, right? So mm. Scotch Widows is part of Lloyds Bank. It's right. a retirement savings arm of Lloyds Bank. Um, mm. And how it works is, you know, we'll invest all the money on your behalf. So, yeah. um, you know, in our, in our default fund, there's more than 50 billion pounds in it, right? Right. We Got can you. bring the prices right down, but there's enough to make some money to run run a business, you know? Yeah. Um, so that that's kind of how it works. Um, I always pick up on something you were saying there about people moving jobs a lot. How yeah. Many, how many jobs do you think people are going to have on average oh, in their life? Jump. In their lifetime? Yeah. Oh, for us? <laughs> oh my gosh. It could be like... Well, I'm one LinkedIn to... advert away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Every... Just one person. Oh, they're yeah. recruiting here. Like, yeah. Um, on, oh no, for us, people are moving on average every two I years, I'm sure. Like 10, 12 maybe? Yes. So the, yeah. the DWP or the ABI, one of the organizations said that people will have on average 11 jobs through their lifetime. And I recognize that that's on average. So younger people might have more jobs, Yeah, but you do kind of stop moving a little bit. after. As that. you get yeah, a bit older, exactly, of course. Yeah. And you're not as desirable in terms of the market. Mm -hmm. The older you are no, in some cases, you know, yeah. In some cases, maybe. In other yeah. Other in some well. cases, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. If you're yeah. senior or whatever, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, in some cases they won't. So, Oh, no, I mean, 11 jobs. So mm -hmm. what does that mean about pensions? It's just yeah. everywhere. You've got 11 pensions. Yeah. So the number one jo question that we get asked all the time is, what can I do with my old pension pot? This was actually yeah. what I was going to, I was going to ask you, you know, pen is it Pension B? Pension B. Pension B. Yeah. Where it just consolidates everything. They, they, well, they're one company that does it. Yeah. Um, but you can do that with anyone, right? So, right. Um, with Pension B, you'll not have your workplace scheme with them. Right. So you'll be putting that money into like a private pension there and you'll right. also probably have a workplace pension as well. Whereas what you can also do is you can just consolidate your workplace pension because the charges are capped there. Right. So okay. the maximum you can get charged on your workplace pension is 0.75% a year. But if you work for a big company, it's going to be a, an awful lot less than that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way you're making sure that you, your money is somewhere that you're not getting charged very much for. Um, and you know, like again, if if it's Scotch Widows, you can just go onto the app and transfer your old pension pots. Yeah, it takes an average eight minutes. Right? Okay, um, okay. So, so you can do that with that. So although you can do it with Pension B yeah. into your own individual policy, yeah. you can also do it with pretty much anyone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's good yeah. marketing yeah. then. Yeah. I've got about three. I need to consolidate. Yeah, yeah. 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 most workplaces have pension. I need right. to do that. And what do you? What, what are the norms? The norms are the charges, right? So you know how much mm. you're paying in charges, so you can see. Which ones are different charges? And, work out and what is the charge to look after my money or to invest my money? Is that well? It's all wrapped up in one thing. So as I say, the mm. maximum you can get they can charge is 075 percent annual management mm -hmm. charge a year in a workplace scheme. Right. Most of them will be much less than that. Right. And so it's it's not really very much, you know. Right. If you're paying 100 quid a month. It's like six quid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Got you. So that's kind cool. of. And do you, do you guys like, so for example, with Scottish Widows, like how would I, how would you know where I've worked? Do I have to tell you my workplace or? It's a, it's a really good point. Uh, so the government's been supposed to be introducing something called the pension dashboard. 
Uh. whereby you've kind of like got a digital ID and you pop in your digital ID and it pulls up a picture of all the places you work. Uh. And, uh, I'm surprised it, that hasn't happened already. Yeah, so they've not been able to do it. Um, mm. uh, they're, they're still working on it, but it's taken much longer than it should do. I mean, part of the problem is you don't really have a digital ID verifier in the UK. No. I mean, not in really. other countries in Scandinavia and that, they have all this stuff, right? Right. Uh, you just go in pop it in they've got like pension dashboards to tell you all the places you've worked Australia was exactly the same all the places so you we're we're, to to work tough like we're and I. trying to do that and we're we're building all the plumbing just now to make it happen mm, but that yeah. would make life a lot easier for people are you working on that personally is that <clears throat> of your... I've been involved in it but mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I know people that have worked really closely on it I mean yeah our previous pension minister, Guy Opperman, it was his baby. He really wanted to do this. And he actually worked in a tech bank in the past as well. So he had right. a real strong desire to deliver it. Mm-hmm. But it's just, tr- you're trying to pull stuff from the state. You're trying to pull stuff from yeah, 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 all yeah, those yeah, yeah. M- many Mass- hundreds and hundreds of different pension schemes all into one place. And then what's really important is when you present the information back, that people understand it. So like yeah. you saw that £222,000 or whatever, you didn't know what that number meant. Mm. So uh. people generally have three questions about pensions that, uh. from from my experience. What have I got? Is it enough? And what can I do next? Yeah. What Is have I got? Enough? Is it enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The second question. <laughs> so first, first question, what have I got? Yeah. You, you, don't know what, you don't know what you've got. It's all Yeah, no clue. Mm-hmm. So the dashboard will help solve that. It'll mm-hmm. help solve what have I got. Yeah. But you can also do that yourself. You know, there's mm-hmm. a there's a government tracing service, and you type in the name of the employer you worked at, and he'll tell you who the pension was with. Right, and you can then track it down like that. Got it. So, what have I got? Is it enough? Well, I've given you the examples of comfortable, moderate, and yeah, uh, etc. You need to just work out what you think you're going to need, mm-hmm. and there's loads of tools that you can do that with. Work out, I'm on track to get that, and it might be that you've got other private. You know, income as well that you could put in the mix. You could, yeah. you could have properties, you could have shares that are going to keep paying you dividends. You know, whatever mm-hmm. it has to be. Um, and then, what can I do next? Is the is the killer question? Like, yeah, what, if you've identified a problem, then you might be able to solve it. Mm. But stage one, what have I got? Yeah, that's very interesting. I didn't know you could do it in <clears throat> other apps, but I think maybe Pension B just had good marketing. Oh, yeah. you're right. They spent a lot of money advertising on it. It's yeah. really effective. So it looks like the number one place to do it. Yeah. On the tube. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it all the time. Um, cool. But well, you can do it with Scottish Widows. Yeah. Scottish Widows, yeah. you can do it. You'll be able to do it with whoever your workplace provider is. They'll take money in. Yeah. And as I say, you're all, you will be keeping that one going um, because it's got money coming into it. So you can... Chuck it all into that one. We place. we we self employed the mm-hmm. three of us, uh, but we don't currently currently have a, a, a workplace pension provider. Uh. Um, so it's actually something we need to sort out by the end of the year. Uh. Um, how do we do that? Well, for, um, a small company like yourselves, you're mm-hmm. probably a good place to start as your accountant, right? Mm-hmm. You probably use an accountant who knows what's going on, yeah. um, and then th- there are. There are schemes that are designed for smaller companies like yourself Mm -hmm. where you're not going to have to do too much admin or any of that stuff because I'm guessing you don't want to be spending a lot of time in admin. You're all, if it's just the three of you, you've all got your own things that you want out of it and the Mm -hmm. one way you want to get paid is different if you're a big employer where you've got to do this for thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I would start off with your your account. Right, got you, got you, got you. That's cool. Um... I was going to ask in regards to just like, what would you advise to people that are a bit like, you know, scared of like that tail end of life? Like what is the kind of ways that you kind of feel is um, not motivation, but for them to kind of wake up, like what's a message that you would say works like just galvanizing people, you know, where's the best place to start? Yeah, I would definitely say uh, knowledge is power, right? So mm-hmm. shying away from something and not looking at it isn't going to help. And mm-hmm. So it's about working out what's achievable with what you have just now mm-hmm. and then also working out, does it mean you have to change your plans? Do you maybe have to actually start thinking about working a bit l- longer or mm-hmm. are you in a position where you could actually stop working earlier? You know, so it's, it's about understanding those numbers mm-hmm. and not being afraid of them. There's plenty of tools um, you know, on, on websites that help you with that. Yeah. So when we were talking there about how many, um, you know, how many times you're going to go on holiday and all of that kind of stuff, mm. that was designed as a way to try and help people 
pigeonhole um, themselves. And, and if you go on the Scotch Widow's website, there's a, a life, retirement lifestyle planner there where you can go and type how much you're going to spend on birthday presents, how much you're going to spend on yeah, yeah, yeah. when are you going to replace your kitchen, all of that kind of stuff. And then yeah. folks say, well, we think you're going to need this much money in retirement. Mm -hmm. And you might go, I can't afford that. <laughs> but when, I, when my state pension comes in, I will be able to afford it. So then I have to think, oh, I'm going to work to 67 or I'm going to mm. maybe take, because you can take your money out your pension from 55. I might take a bit out then uh -huh. and use some of that money, my tax-free amount, um, which won't impact me for like working or anything like that. I could take my tax-free amount out and do something, right? Yeah. Something powerful, something that I really want to do. Yeah. Um, we we did a we did a session the other week there, and there was a a, a guy on it, and he's like, I, I still don't really understand the rules here. I've got quite a bit of money here. Mm. Um, can I take some now? And he was like 57. He was like, yeah, you, you can access some just now. Mm. And he went and phoned his uh, wife. They were getting a camper van. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was their dream. Yeah. <laughs> no, no stopping he's work. Done. He's not stopping work, but he's phoning her up. Telling her we can get you that. can do, do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did it. <laughs> we did it, Joe. <laughs> so I mean it's like yeah. it's understand what you've got. Um you know, when you're in that period where you're saving and you can afford it, and always try and get your the maximum of money you can out of your employer. Yeah. Right. So a lot of them have tiered schemes. So it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four, five, six, or mm. six, eight, ten. You know, like mm -hmm. you pay six, they pay six. You pay eight, they pay eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they match and it. Yeah. So you, whatever you're doing, trying to get as m the maximum that you can from your employer contribution. Yeah. Mm. You know. Do you, Do you often? Well, or have you ever come across people like that regret not having the pension? Oh God, all the time. I've got. I mean, people that opted out of the NHS scheme. So mm. I used to go up and down the bus uh, up and down the country every year on a double decker bus. Yeah. Go to city centres all over the country, and right. it was called the Pension Awareness Tour. Okay. And literally, just beyond that bus in the centre of Reading, the centre of uh, Westfield Shopping Centre, went to that one and just park up there. And people come on and ask any of the questions about pensions. Right. And a few people, you know, particularly NHS people, that say, "No, I'm not in the scheme. Yeah, I have to pay six percent, so I don't want to do it." And you're like, hmm. "That's one of the best schemes in the country." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You I've always heard the NHS. You need to go and uh, and go back in it. Um, so yeah, I mean, de definitely uh, mm. people that people that uh, other members of their family bring them to the bus. Like, yeah, they brought them to the bus. And tell him. I've been telling him he's, he needs to be in the scheme. Can you tell him? Like, uh, Sydney, yeah. like <laughs> this is what it means. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest issues. Uh, and they say, oh, I'll not be alive when I'm. Yeah. How do you know you're, you're 26? How do you know? Exactly what I was going to say. I think one of the biggest issues is that that's, that mindset of, I'm going to die soon anyway. By the time it comes, I'm not going to get all of this. I don't need that much. Do you know mm. what I mean? So, mm. yeah. It's... I think a huge percentage of folk that are born today will live to 100. Mm. Yeah, healthcare and just technology. A like. Hundred Year Life, uh, which is a book that I love. It's a totally inspirational book. In fact, you're asking about things what inspires you. Something like that is really inspiring. You know, you start to plan for a longer life. Yeah. Um, and thinking about how you would do that, because if you were thinking, "Oh, I'm going to be 65, uh, retire, then be dead at 75," it's mm -hmm. like a, an extra quarter. Mm -hmm. And people will be healthier for longer as well. So yeah, you'll be healthier for longer. You'll live for longer. You, yeah, I mean, does I mean, does the way you die impact anything at all? The way you die, yeah. Um, like if you die abroad, if you die, yeah. <laughs> this guy in this good, alley, good question, yeah. good question, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. If you die, because you your... find out some strange rules. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll lay your your like, out. What do you mean? Yeah. If it's your fault, if yeah. it's someone yeah. else's fault, yeah. I trips. Yeah. I can't. Do you know insurance? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nothing like that. Cool. Yeah. I wouldn't say you. You have children, so like. Um, you got a fourteen year old. Got a fourteen year old, a nineteen year old, and a twenty two year old. Right. So the fourteen year old is probably the most interesting to me right now. Not only because he watches the show, yeah. he likes, <laughs> but because he's probably he's going to be very different from obviously the older kids. Yeah. And obviously, you would imagine from when you grew up, yeah, yeah. how you were spending money, how you was working is very different. Yeah. His work ethic might be totally different. Yeah. Now, at what rate is he running through money? Well, on the way here, he's texted me and <laughs> <laughs> kind of pa passed him some money uh, for his lunch today. And I'm like, wait a minute, I gave you enough for two days yesterday. It's like, how oh, much is how enough, much is enough, enough two, days? two days these days? 
oh well it, it's like he's, he's at school it's like should, uh, that was a tenner for two days, yeah. for two days. Yeah. Okay, all right, five pounds. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a lot. Skill because yeah. asking dinners like two two pounds two pound a day. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. pounds a day, and, and the standard <laughs> meal was one pound sixty. Yeah. yeah, that got you food and that, a side and the drink. Yeah, yeah. and the side and yeah, yeah. and the drink. Yeah. It might be like oh, a he said he doesn't like the food in the school. Of course uh, he doesn't. Uh, of course, of course he doesn't. To go out to the shop nearby. Right. Okay. So what are you? What are you? Um. What have you exposed him to? Like, for example, has he gone to fancy restaurants? Uh, like, really? Yeah, but not too much, though. Um, okay. So he's got, like, a Go Henry account, which you may be familiar with. Oh, yeah, like yeah. a kid's My account. My nephew's account. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. can, so I can see everything that he spends, and I can write <laughs> him in, and I can, okay, I can cool. send him money. So, oh, so you can decline so, it on the spot? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so, so, um, when, so, so that... That was a way, when he got that, it was a way for him to start learning about money. And my two older kids didn't. Have right. That. And my 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 older boy was just burning through all his money all the time. Right. So um, Alex, the, the younger one, he got that Go Henry and it, it helped him to understand a bit about saving. Yeah. But he's gone beyond that now. He just spends everything. As as right. <laughs> right, 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 it's right. Not, right. It's not worked for so long. But, got you. but you asked me what, what I did. for. So for each of them, I, I took out a junior ISA. Yeah, like a right. savings vehicle for kids, uh, and you know that's so that when if they go to university, that when they become eighteen, yeah, 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 they can. Um, and that's me, kind of said, that's me. I've done it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't you mean you, yeah. you, 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 you have to go uni before you can act. No, 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 <laughs> like no. goals, yeah, yeah, like it's on power. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. So uh, that, 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 that's not fair, like. <laughs> <laughs> and my older boy hasn't gone to uni, so uh, he's right, still yeah. trying to get an apprenticeship. So you know, right, uh, good. He, he doesn't want to do that. He wants mm -hmm. to be outside working. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you, got you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, and then, so back to like myth busting. Let's go into capital gains. Yeah, what actually is that? That's well, right. Say you had, um, say you lived in a house and then you bought another house and you rented that other house out. Um, and then you sold that other house. Uh -huh. If you made money on it, you'd have to pay capital gains tax, uh -huh. right? So let's say you bought it for 100 and you sold it for 120. Uh -huh. You would have made 20 grand on it. Um, you would then have to pay capital gains tax on, on most of that uh -huh. 20 grand. Right. right, most of? Yeah, you get an allowance like five grand a year. So Right. So you'd have, but you would have had 15 grand that you would have had to pay tax on. There or thereabouts, okay? I'm not Quite. mad at tax expert or any of that uh -huh. stuff. Uh -huh. But if you put in... 100 grand to pension fund and it was 120 grand you wouldn't have any of that to pay right mm. got you so there's no capital gains no capital on pension gains. no okay oh fantastic That's so they're so they're on so they're in trust so there's no IT, there's no good tax on the investment growth mm -hmm. um, it's just when you come to take it out 25 percent of it is tax-free and the rest you can you can draw down so you you control your tax yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But what, what what's been interesting around tax is, so the government's frozen the thresholds, um, mm -hmm. you know, for for tax income tax. So right. more and more people are becoming higher rate taxpayers, right? Because they've frozen the threshold. So I was at another uh, factory, and every almost every person I saw came and said to me, "Hey, I'd like to put more money in my pension, Robert." And I'm like, "Why? Mm -hmm. I, what have I done?" <laughs> First up, <laughs> but it turned out that they'd had a deal in across the across the plant, which meant that it all suddenly became higher rate taxpayers. Right, but all these people on so they want to offset like some, in your, so yeah, pay, a little yeah, bit yeah. more in their pension. They drops them back down, and they don't pay the higher rate tax. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, our accountant said that. Actually. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's like, about being a little offset. Bit about, but you have to have some kind of awareness. So it just happened there. The union had told them all about it. Yeah, but it, this is going to happen to lots and lots more people because the thresholds have been frozen, which means more people will be paying tax. Yeah, and more people will be paying higher tax. And yeah. one of the ways of mitigating that is by paying a little bit more into your pension. Yeah, and it, remember I said earlier on, like eighty quid to get a hundred quid in. If you've tipped into that higher rate tax band, sixty quid to get a hundred quid in. Mm. So you can see you're, you're yeah. making money yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a case of if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. So I think like that's with like the gym, like most things in life. If you're not using it, it's gone. So if you're not putting it into pension or saving it. <laughs> government's gonna be like we'll have that then yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah using we'll it, it we'll take yeah, it yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. like always about just being like really shrewd or just savvy about i think it's the way word money. that probably conf not like confuses people but because it's called pension yeah 
Mm. It's, it's it is an investment, but mm, it probably yeah. doesn't sound like an it's investment of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's because it's two things, isn't it? You, you you've mm. got your state pension, which is an income, yeah, and you've got your private pension, which is a savings vehicle for later life. Yeah, so it's a savings vehicle like you can't access till fifty five. Mm. When by the time you guys are accessing yours, it'll be like fifty seven. Right? Yeah, so it's a later life savings vehicle. The industry wants you to use it for an income, but lots of people just now haven't been using it for an income. They've been taking it out in chunks of cash. Yeah. Mm. So you kind of want a mixture of both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah want yeah. some for guaranteed covers all your bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other bit that you can have, have some use. fun with. A bit of yeah. fun, a bit yeah. of flexibility. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. So I, I see people taking money out of theirs to help the kids go to uni or help them get yeah. deposit in a house, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So they're still working, but it's a later life saving vehicle where they've taken a bit of tax free cash out. Yeah. Camper vans. Yeah. Is there a limit? You know, could, with like ISAs, I think you get like a 20K a year or something yeah, like that. Right. Is there a limit with pensions as well? There is, but it's 60K a year. So it's quite. quite wow. Hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This like, yeah. don't put in too yeah. much about yeah. what happens if you. Put I, and the thing to remember with ISAs is you've already been taxed on that money. Yeah. Whereas with pensions, you're getting the tax relief on the money. Right. Because with ISA, so the, the money's been paid to me by my employer, yeah. and that's yeah, been taxed, yeah, and then yeah, I put it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can it get taxed again? Or but we do get well, it with capital got, gains. You put it in, and then it's there's no capital gains because it's a tax free savings wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on ISA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. up to twenty k. Yeah, up to twenty yeah. k is yeah. tax free, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Or whatever the threshold. The threshold. Is. Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so to get a hundred k into an ISA, let's say, right, it's going to cost you. Hundred thousand pounds after tax uh -huh. to get a hundred thousand pounds into your pension. If you're a high rate taxpayer, it's going to cost you sixty grand. Mm -hmm. If you're a basic rate taxpayer, it's going to cost you eighty grand. Right. Uh -huh. So that's kind of how how it works. Right. Um, okay. And when so, they're in there, you can draw the money out of an ISA completely tax free because you haven't had tax relief on the money in it. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't really tax okay. on it before it yeah. went in. Yeah. Yeah. Got used yeah. because sometimes you get taxed twice. <laughs> Like, or you, like, not, I feel not, like. Not in an ISA. Yeah, not in an ISA, but um, in life sometimes I feel like you get taxed multiple times on that same money coming in. Yeah. Like, well, I know what you mean is that well, if we get like an invoice and is that if we didn't do VAT or something. Correct. Yeah. Then we'll get basically yeah. taxed. You get a VAT, yeah. VAT income that is like everything's it's on that. Like, wait, hold on. You just yeah. take, you just take one. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. With what all we spoke about so far, have we dove into self invested personal pensions? We haven't, um, and they're just another type of personal pension, right? Um, so, just you're unlikely to have a. Um, well, you could have a work. You could have a workplace one. It just means you've got a bit more flexibility in what you choose to invest in. Mm -hmm. So, if you're in a workplace scheme, then the employer is going to give you a company like Scotch Widows or Standard Life or Aviva, and they'll have a yeah. set of investments that you can invest in. Um, 90 odd percent of people go in the default fund mm -hmm. so the default fund is where it's been agreed that you that this this investment strategy will be looked after on your behalf yeah if you want to do a self-invested plan you're doing something a bit different so you've got the same tax relief and all of that kind of stuff the money goes into a plan in your name and then you're choosing where to where invest the money go. and you might have a broader range of things you can invest in you could even be investing in something like this studio, for example, mm -hmm. you know, a commercial property, you could do something like that and buy that through a pension scheme, that kind of thing. Can I? Oh. Right? So it's an interesting then. Um, well, that, you'd, you'd need expert help. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was about to say, can you do that with the <laughs> Apple? Because <laughs> 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 this app is sounded amazing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you would definitely need a financial advisor and a accountant and a financial advisor to do that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So yeah, there's def there's definitely a place for them, but mm. it's for people that are really switched on. I would say yeah. more switched on than and or, or, or want to take ownership for all of that stuff. Yeah, want to be doing stuff that's a little bit more unusual. Right, um, what, it's what greater risk thing. Well, yeah, I mean, if you put all your eggs in one basket, yeah, yeah, yeah. just this one thing, mm -hmm. and then that goes bust, then that's your pension, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Much, what type of things is um, like a Scottish widows investing? The money in yeah so um it, they go into but the bulk of it's going to default funds which is in equity so mm -hmm. not just equity so it's in shares like so shares in the stock market here around the world mm -hmm. 
some into um, stuff which is like corporate bonds, so it's like um, loans to companies, that yeah. right. stuff. Yeah. So it's a mi- so what you want is a mixture, right? So mm-hmm. there's a mixture of of assets in there. Mm-hmm. Again, one of the interesting things, if you look in the app, it'll show you your top ten investments, and it's not going to be a big surprise. It's going to be Amazon. It's going to be Apple. It's mm-hmm. going to be right. Got yeah. these other big companies is where. You, you'll have a tiny portion of each of these companies you'll own that through your pension fund. Right. Um, and and sort of... That's interesting to know because a lot of people, they just think, oh, yeah, my money's just going, I don't know where, but mm-hmm. if you say, oh, yeah, now you've got stocks oh, in yeah. Apple, you've got yeah, stocks yeah, in Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So if you, yeah. if, if you feel better about it. If you click in that, it'll show you your top 10 companies that you've got holdings in, but it'll also, it's got a thing called... Um, Ours is called Find Your Impact, but there's lots of different ESG type tools, which means that you can have a say. So when a company's AGM is coming up, yeah. you can vote. You can tell them this is how I want to vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, they, they gather cool. up all your votes and they get to see how people feel. Ah, yeah. What, what are the things that are important to you? So it is your money in the pension, right? Yeah. Or so you've handed it over to the company. It's your money. It's in the pension. And for I say lots of the bigger workplace ones, they will allow you to go in and say this is what's important to me. Yeah, and if you don't want to be in the default one, let's say you're, you know, you're completely focused on um, the climate. And mm, yeah, that's your thing. You can select to be in those kind of funds. Mm, right. You just have to manage it yourself. You need to have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, so, uh, this is yeah, yeah. make me feel like an adult, boy. But um, <laughs> do you, do you have like stats on how many people in the UK have a pe- have or don't have a pension? Yes. Do you think I can remember them? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, in the workforce, it's about 90% of people in the workforce are in the pension scheme. Mm-hmm. Certainly the ones that are eligible. They'll be more eligible mm-hmm. when the, the two changes come in. So when they drop the age down to 18, another yeah. 600,000 people come in, mm-hmm. and they drop down the minimum, because currently you need to be earning 10 grand a year to get auto-enrolled into the right, pension scheme. Yeah. So that's going to disappear as well. So yeah, it'll have to, especially if you're 18. Mm. Loads of people won't work. Yeah, exactly, but it'll mean also that, um, you know, particularly women that are working multiple jobs, yep. um, that maybe two part-time jobs not getting a pension, That's they'll true. suddenly then be able to qualify Quite. for a pension as well. Mm, yeah. So uh, you're going to find that amongst the uh, working population, you're probably going to be sitting there, 80 to 90 percent of people will be in a pension scheme. Good, good. Um, good. Under self employed, it's much, much less than that, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah there's yeah. a lot of self employed people are doing their own thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, so that so it's the vast majority. It's an extra nearly 12 million people have been rolled into pensions since they brought auto enrollment in. Right. So that's a massive success because what happened was companies have stopped backing them to some extent because they were expensive and they felt they didn't have to do that. Mm-hmm. And the government's like, we're going to have this massive problem yeah. um, unless we bring in some legislation that means that companies have to put you in a pension scheme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is what, which is why that came in. And in actual fact, the, the younger age cohort, people in their 20s, there was more of them in pensions than there was at 50s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Because they, they're just coming in, it's all they know. You get an mm-hmm. auto-roll mm-hmm. in the pension scheme and that's you in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it because it's like uh, with tax, when you start getting your pay and you just see, oh, yeah, it's been taxed already, you just assume, all right, this is my pay then. Yeah. Rather yeah. than, oh, you give me all of it and then I, now I have to pay it. Like, yeah. self-employed is tough, man. <laughs> yeah. Because you can yeah, see your tax yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah you forget about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you're like, actually, all of this isn't this mine. This is not mine. This is at not all, all mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, at, at all. Scary. So there's, uh, wait, let me find it. So anyone can contribute and pay into someone else's pension you don't have to be married or a civil partner uh for one person to pay into another person's pension my first question is is probably i don't know if any why would someone do that mm. yeah it, interesting isn't it uh so um sometimes you might have used up all your allowance uh, right. so, or you're going well Reason. i've used up all my allowance um so i'm going to put something in mm. uh, another thing when they brought in the these kind of rules a lot quite a long time ago um lots of it's not lots of some grandparents did them for the grandchildren. Yeah, I was thinking uh, that. So they like as soon as the kid was born, they took out a pension for them, and if they paid in the pension at the maximum amount they could for, until they were eighteen, and then just left it, mm. they wouldn't uh, have to go they, to work. They well, <laughs> 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 what, what, what are they going to do till they're fifty-five? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the idea was that if you, if you did that, you could actually make them a millionaire by the time they were sixty-five. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, you, yeah. you put all that money in and left it, it 
the money that the more when you put money in at a younger age, yeah, it grows much better than yeah, yeah, an older yeah, age, right? Yeah. Um, and the, the figures are really stark in terms of the difference yeah. of how 65 years to become a millionaire is rough, though, when you do fit. I mean, yeah, but what's a lot of if you don't know, though. I mean, well, yeah, yeah if you don't know. I mean, any time to become a millionaire is great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Whilst I'm alive, yeah, whilst yeah, I'm yeah. alive. Yeah. <laughs> it took us 65 yeah. years. Man. Especially if you got a head start from your grandparents. Like, oh, yeah, shit. So, there, were, there was quite a bit. I, I, I don't see that stuff anymore, but we used to see quite a bit, a bit of it then. You know, like people just paying into other people's pensions. Yeah. yeah. But because, yeah, the next bullet point then says, if you're married, your husband or wife could pay into your pension for you. What does that actually mean? Well, it just means that, like, um, again, it's the, the, there's a gender pension gap, right? Mm -hmm. So men on average are going to have a pension pot or a pension income that's about 50% higher than women on average. Right. So you might go off on maternity and yeah. be earning. Yeah. But you. Yeah, I was, well, for argument's sake, put some money into that fund as well. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. rather than it just creating this gap, which... Yeah. Like human and he's getting ta he can get yeah. taxed less, right, yeah. if he does that. The exact tax rules uh, need a little bit of reminding ourselves exactly what they are, but Got you. you're getting tax relief on it either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you're getting that, you know, paying the smaller amount and the government grosses it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I said that, I'd track a while. But uh, yeah, so ge the gender yeah. pension gap is... Yeah, yeah. Gender of course. Because of broken broken career paths and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll try to do that for, for my wife. That's what I said to her, but... You know, when time comes. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it, that's nice, but you'll be covering other stuff. That's not exactly what I'm saying. It's not like, thinking. oh, she's covering stuff. Like, you're going to be covering so much, bro. Yeah. I can't wait till this girl goes back to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Um, so just within your career, um, what is like, like, what's the, um, well, I guess in terms of your family, I'm guessing you're probably the pension guru, right? Like yeah. for your whole family, not yeah, just yeah. like your your kids yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it must yeah. be like, yeah, yeah. oh, your cousin Del, like you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, um, you know, what have you seen anyone go through like a really good time in your family with pensions yeah. because of your advice? My dad uh, had an amazing, ended up with an amazing pension. So mm. when I was born, um, we lived in a tenement house in Glasgow with no inside bath or shower or anything like that and it had a toilet and I took to my granny's on a Friday to get a bath or a shower. So wow. That's how old I am. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's... Uh, so my dad was an apprentice electrician. Um, right. And then he went and did a few jobs and he moved into kind of sales and then he started working for this company in Glasgow yeah. and he worked for them for 35 years. Yeah. He started off um, just as a junior sales role, finished off as the chief exec. Yeah. Oh wow! So he worked, he worked all the way up, all the way up. And yeah, that meant he'd actually got to the point where they, where his pension fund was above the max, right? When they brought in these rules, and I was saying to him, "Well, you continue to work in there, um, and they're not going to give you any more pension, right? So you need to just go and have a conversation with them about it." Mm. And they, they actually fell out with them over the whole thing, but he ended up leaving with a great pension. Uh, because oh wow! Because that's what it was like. I was telling you that if you lived in a certain time, those kind of that kind of environment, yeah, um, you, they were paying you. Basically, you worked for thirty-five years. Your kind of last years of earnings, it was assumed that you earned that all the way through. Right, you got they, you got given a percentage of your earnings. of the last of years of earnings. Wow. You got given a percentage of that as wow. your income in retirement. So he needed to do that at that point to maximize it and walk away with a brilliant income. And he he gets. He's got the. That's what the guy's living like. In he's in Bali. Mallorca, <laughs> <laughs> wherever. He's like, he's, he's, he'll walk Straw his things. So yeah. He's just all over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah that, that's how he like him. That worked out really well for him. And they don't do that anymore. Not really. Um, mm. the, you're hard pushed to find them because they were became really expensive and they're, 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 yeah. all the risk was on the employer. Now the risk yeah. just now sits with employees to some extent because it depends yeah. what your fund is worth, right? You and rather the, than yeah. guaranteeing an income. So was it the uh, employer that paid out that percentage for the rest of your life? Or? The employer puts it into a scheme which they looked after right? and that scheme would pay it out for the rest of your life. Okay. Uh, wow. Like yeah. They had to reserve a whole load of money yeah. which meant that they couldn't invest that money in the company because they were mm. have to invest it in the pension fund and keep the money there. 
So yeah. it became too expensive for them to run them. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Whereas right, people started living longer. Yeah, 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 out yeah. Longer and all that risk. So. Yeah, you guys ain't dying quick enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> well, you flip you, you flip that onto where it is now. Um, yeah. You know, the risk sits with the employee, the scheme scheme member. So, yeah, it's like last year was a really rubbish year for investments for most people. Right? Yeah. So they would have seen most most funds would have gone down last year uh, mm -hmm. because everything that went wrong last year, right? Mm -hmm. Coming at the back of COVID, interest rates were going up with unusual government, let's just say. Yeah. <laughs> all, all, all that stuff was happening and it was really tough to make money uh, yeah. anywhere. And then the, what you have to watch out for is that you don't panic at that point. You know, yeah. like, all right, okay, I started the year with 100 grand. I've paid in 20 grand and I've still only got 100 grand. So if some people were coming to us saying that, you're going, look, you're stealing my money. You're going, no, I'm not stealing your money. This is, a, this is an investment. Yeah, yeah. Remember, though, these things will Piece fluctuate, yeah. mm -hmm. but you it, it only affects you at the point at which you're taking the money out. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, if true. you're buying units when they're going down, you're buying more units for the same money. Bad yeah, trip, yeah, bad trip. It's called yeah. cost averaging. So mm -hmm. uh, as the unit prices change, yeah. you buy less units when it's up and you're buying more units. It's when it's down, it's down yeah. yeah. But you, what you just need to make sure is that as you get to the point where you're yeah, taking your yeah. benefits out, uh, you've moved it into stuff that's a little bit more secure. And that's kind of how default schemes work. They do that for you as you get older. Do you right. guys in, in, invest in uh, crypto? We don't invest in crypto. Uh, there, you can you can probably do that through some self invest in self invested pensions. Mm -hmm. I personally took out a crypto wallet and it's done worse than a pension fund. That's for sure. Good man. We all went through that. Had <laughs> a dip. Had a dip. Had a dip. Head to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> I'm, I'm still watching, man. I'm still watching. <laughs> it's just there. Goes back. Although you see like. Big swings in a day, right? Mm. Up and down five, eight percent in a day, then back down the next day. No sense to yeah. On the outside looking in, yeah, going, yeah, yeah. What, why is this stuff happening? Because yeah. some fault with a big following or making things happen. That's... Did you guys see like at the time it was? I guess what was it bullish? Like people taking up from their pensions. Oh uh, yeah, to, like, go yeah, crypto. Yeah, yeah. Did, oh, was we, it? We were out. When we'd be out doing um, road shows and talking to people, like going into, so I'd go out, it's like I'm going tomorrow to a company, mm -hmm. so people can just come and talk to you, like, mm. okay, tell us what your pension questions are, why can't I invest in crypto, mm. why can't I invest in crypto, why can't I invest in crypto, <laughs> <laughs> because we think it's a bit risky to be putting your pension money in there, yeah, yeah. that would be crazy, and, uh, yeah, well, well, I'm making a fortune out of it. Yeah, no, you know what? Nobody asked me that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wherever I go, right, especially yeah, exactly. now. Yeah, no, especially no, no, now. No, no, yeah, they go. Why can't they invest in crypto? Yeah. No one does that now. Yeah. Yeah. The next time they do, are you guys gonna be like, let's you do saw this what quickly? To crypt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's jump oh, in for two years. Jump in the wave quickly. <laughs> That's <laughs> dangerous because if they lose my money, <clears throat> I'm at their door. You yeah, I mean? like, you'd be like, I can't believe you invested in exactly. crypto. It would be crazy. Be exactly. mad. I've heard, and, and some, some, some places have right, and they've lost a lot of money. I'm sure, I'm sure they um, would. Have. Some investment houses have done that as well. Yeah. Um, but no, you're, you're getting a lot of pressure from people to do it. And what What could be done? So obviously, you guys are investing our money. Is there any way to guarantee that it's gonna be that at the end, or is it just because like, could you invest in it? If say, for example, there's a big crash we might lose a whole chunk of it. That's why you have a diversified set of assets, right? So across different mm -hmm. things. So it's not all in shares, right? So mm -hmm. it's in things like um, bonds, which are like- more stable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some of it's in government bonds and mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as the government doesn't completely crash, <laughs> uh, yeah, and yeah. every company in the world crash, you'll, you know, you'll have- Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, with banks, you're covered, let's say like, yeah, with banks, you're, if if something happens to the bank, you're covered for like seventy five k, eighty five k. Yeah, it's pensions. Your whole lot is covered. Oh yeah, yeah. okay, right. So, okay. But is that everyone or like? Yeah. But you guys, you said you only got like fifty billion. 
Only. In that one fund. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, Are you we sure can't you all eat it? off this? <laughs> you sure you got it? 50, but we shouldn't all be getting older than the pension at the same, at the same time. time is yeah. It? So yeah, yeah, <laughs> 50 yeah. million will go a long way. So <laughs> 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 Let me and somebody else be the only two people retiring. <laughs> hey, 25 each. Let's go. Yeah. It's like insurance companies. If everyone just started claiming at the same time, they and you know, it's like, that's when they're like, oh, hurricane, no, nope, we're not paying out. Because <laughs> yeah, they yeah, know yeah. everyone's going to be calling like my house is gone or something. Yeah, happened. yeah, that would be crazy. Read the small print. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Before, before we let you go, is there like one piece of information that not enough people know about pensions? Like, cause you you mentioned earlier about the chat GBT thing. What is yeah. something that comes so, up? So we so we just did um, we just d did a four weeks where people could ask us anything about questions, uh, any any questions about pensions. I got two thousand four hundred uh, questions come in, mm. and it's like quite difficult because they're just using their own words to ask you anything yeah. that they want. Um, so we and it was all anonymized, chunked up, and put it into Chat GPT, mm. and analyze that with AI to find out what are the key words and what the key questions that they're asking us. Got you. So the number one thing uh, that comes out, I would never do this stuff, and I knew before we even started it, it'd be the number one thing, how do I deal with my old pension? Uh -huh. Right. So we covered that already. So that's you consolidating your old pensions, go and find them, put them into a new plan, keep an eye on them. One, I mean, you're all digital natives, so you need uh -huh. you need them that you can see in your phone. Yeah, they don't mm. exist, right? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So, true, yeah, true, 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 true. So that's it. You need it on an app on your phone, so you can see it, right? And uh -huh. Deal with it. So that was number one. Number two, which isn't normally number two, but there was this year, was about investments. Just people concerned a bit about investments, like what happened. Should they keep save again? Should they reduce their amounts because things have fallen in value? So again, we've covered that off pretty well. It's like talking through those different options. Number three was around. Um, in in uh, number two is around retirement options. What can I do with my money? Mm. So again, we've probably covered that off. You can take some of it in chunks. You can buy a lifetime annuity. Mm -hmm. You can take it all in cash if you want, but you'll pay a lot of tax. Yeah. Um, so you've got a bit of flexibility. Hit the bank and draw, you know, draw draw it down and and use that to maximise your your tax use. Another thing which people didn't really understand is something called salary sacrifice or salary exchange. Uh huh. So if you, lots of employers set their schemes up on this basis. And when you look on the app, it says that you're not paying any money into your pension because it all goes through as an employer contribution. Oh. The reason it all goes through as an employer contribution is, is so that you don't pay tax on it and you don't pay national insurance on it. Oh, wow. Right? So it's you're sacrificing some of your earnings to go into a pension. So you're saving national insurance and tax. Okay. It's even more tax. That's what... So what our accountant mentioned, he said yeah, salary yeah, sacrifice. Yeah. It was that particular word. And I was like, right. what does that mean? Yeah, we tend that to means a good accounting. We, we got yeah. to call it salary exchange because, you know, sacrifice is not. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sounds it's not, horrible. It's not really nice. Yeah. Sounds like the there's a sword anything. involved. So yeah. <laughs> decapitation. Yeah. This yeah. sounds horrible. Yeah. 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 It sounds yeah. like I'm going to get We need to get better on the wording, the marketing. Like, we should know pension sounds like horrible. Like It just sounds old. Yeah, for young people, call it a lit fund. A lit fund. Yeah, that would work. Like, look at, yeah, like, yeah, chat yeah. GPT could say, if you're born in this time, they yeah. say lit. If you're born in this time, they say pension. Like, yeah. let's appeal to the people. Yep, yep, yep. So, so that was, the, that, I guess that was the other thing that came out, if you, you know, to, yeah. for people just to be aware of that. Mm. It, it means that you're still getting tax relief. It means that you're still contributing, but you're doing it in an even more tax efficient way. Got you. Mm. Um, I've already thought of the fake slogan. What? Um, no, I've go for it. it. Go okay, on. Okay, don't okay. don't be scared. It was now. something like lose a bit to get lit or something. <laughs> <laughs> if you put lose in there, it's horrible. Okay, not lose. <laughs> Spend a bit to get lit. Because you're spending a little bit extra in your pension. It needs anyway, it's cheese. not as good as paying attention to your pension. <laughs> Let's just stick See, a pension I'm looking at the t-shirt. I wanted to make t-shirts, man. Pay your pension so much. That's crazy. Um, Robert, Let's thank you for your time, man. Thank yeah. you, Scottish Widows. Uh, a, a, a survey was done so you guys can read that. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for support, advice, and resources on pension and retirement, head to Scottish Widows' website. Um, and head to the retirement or dealing with uncertainty hub. So we're going to put the links in the description so you guys can check that out.
um, we did host a live event. Uh, we had a panel discussion. Mm -hmm. This is in the past, but that's in the future, and that's this is coming out after. So if you made it to the event, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully you got all your questions answered. If you didn't, just type it in the comment section, mm -hmm. um, and someone may get back to you. you know? Got you, got you, got you. Nice. Thanks, Robin. Man. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thank you. It's been great fun. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>